Welcome back to Breakfast Television. 24 restaurants, 10 days, amazing food. It's a summer feast. Here to give us a little preview of this food affair is Chef Matthew Beatty from the Teatro Group. Good morning to you, Matthew. Hey, so yeah. nice to see you again. Oh, always my pleasure to be here. We were just chatting away here. We barely got to talk about the segment. So what are we doing here this morning? We're talking about the summer feast. Okay, so first of for all, sure. set this up for us. What is it? So summer feast is a great little celebration of some of the best chef-driven restaurants in Calgary. 24 of them, in fact. Wow, 24. For sure. That's a big increase from last year, isn't it? Double. Double. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, Super this good. is great. For sure. So the Teatro Group is very fortunate to be able to participate. We've got five of our properties participating, and I brought a little bit of an introspective into what we're going to be doing at Cucina, which Ooh, is located yeah. right down on 8th Avenue. Yeah, right just across from studio. us. I know. Like, Amazing. Like the back door. Literally out the, the back corner. door. Exactly. So tell us a little bit about how the event actually works. So you buy a ticket, and it's a price-fixed menu. Yes. Well, you didn't actually you don't even have to buy a ticket in Is advance. Is that right? You can do, okay. or you can go right into the restaurant. Oh, wonderful. And twenty-five dollars for lunch, forty-five dollars for dinner. Mm, that is such a good deal, particularly for some of these restaurants where you can spend an enormous amount and really go off. But this for is sure. a fantastic way to get a little preview of the food scene here in the city. So, what are you making for us today? So, this is a red spring salmon tartare. Now, I'm from Victoria yeah. originally, oh, and yeah. all of the Teatro Group restaurants subscribe to uh, Oceanwise practices or seafood sustainability. So, okay. this is a great way to tie in some of the things that are so very important to me as a culinarian, sure. some of the things that are really important to our group, and then also talk about light, crisp flavors of not only summer, but also some different ingredients that come from Alberta, such as the potatoes that we use for the chips. Yum, and you make those chips, and they're so delicious, I can do. just tell you this. All right, so let's put this together for and sure. see how it goes. So really, really simple. So we've actually got some of the Highwood Crossing organic canola oil. So again, talking about celebrating all things yes. that are fantastic. Yes. and from here in Alberta. A little lemon juice, so basically we've made a little bit of a vinaigrette just with the oil, the lemon juice, and just some chives. And what, really what we want to do is let the raw flavors of the salmon come through, a yes. little bit of fennel pollen, Ooh, and yummy. then just a touch of brunoise shallot. So this is arguably one of the simplest preparations possible. No cooking, this maybe takes us like 10 minutes to get mise en place in the kitchen. Lovely. A little sesame seed, and like I say, just so, so, so very simple. So it's we basically so let this marinate. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, just, look at that. Just really easy. And we actually bought these plates from Cam Dobransky, the fellow who owns oh, yeah, yeah. Brasserie and, for wine, sure, bar and wine Bar in Kensington. Mm -hmm. And I know they're participating as well. Yes, so they are. To me, this is this festival is fantastic because it celebrates not only great food, great wine, but the great community that we have in the food scene here in Calgary. Yes. I think it's it's a really kind of cool scene. Yeah, I think For so. Sure. Especially when you compare it to other big cities in the country. Calgary scene, most everybody's really working together. They're not super competitive. I mean, they're competitive in the sense that everybody's doing the best they can, but they really support each yeah. other, which is really, really nice. Always. And the thing that's yeah. great for us is that, you know, we dedicate our lives to being in the food business and you know we really enjoy being in this business doing what we do. Yes. So to be able to celebrate it with our friends, yes. that's fantastic. Like, it is fantastic. How lucky are we? Why don't we run through some of the other restaurants that are involved because there's a few I'm sure people will recognize. For sure. So the Guild downtown yeah. is partaking. We just ate there on Sunday. There Did you go. How was it? It was I'm terrific sure it was as usual. Yes. We Chef Ryan O'Fan, he does a great job there yes, for sure. Yes, he does. He's been on the show many times. He's that's terrific. Awesome. Their sister property, Bufo, yes. which is located uh, down in the mall in Chinook. Right. So they're also participating. Like I say, five of our Teatro Group properties are there. Right. Cam's restaurants are there. I know uh, Andrew's participating. That's right. And like that's only, what, eight of the that's 24? Right. And there's only 24, so it's so incredible. Great. Incredible. So a couple of the other garnishes that we've mm. got into this tartare, the radishes that I'm using right now, yeah. actually come from 8th Avenue Place. And that's the oh. building that... Uh, Cucina, the yes. dish that we're featuring here, the restaurant, is actually located in. So they've got a rooftop garden. Is that what's happening yeah, up there? For sure. And they're LEED Amazing. certified. So it's really neat to be able to talk about things like the Highwood Cross and canola oil from High River, radishes that are literally grown around the corner <laughs> and on the roof of the building that we have Amazing. this restaurant in. Yeah. And then just a little bit of texture. We've got some beautiful potato chips. And these, of course, are from, where do you think these are from? Oh, right Papa here in Buff, Of course. Amazing. The go-to for the roots and veggies here. Gotta love it. Calgary. And this is all just simple, simple, clean flavors. And this is the essentially the full style of Cucina. It's peasant, simple, approachable, delicious, and great value, which really are all the hallmarks of Summer Feast. Absolutely. Okay, so how long does this run, and when does it start? So it starts on the 9th, and it runs until, the, I believe, the 18th. I have it here, I'm sure. Yes, the 9th say? to the 18th. Oh, there you confirmed. go. Confirmed. Great. There we are. Confirmed. Thanks for validating. <laughs>
<laughs> no problem. It's sorted out right there. And of For course, sure. we can't forget about the wine because there'll be wine involved in the event as well. For sure. And although it's not necessarily a wine and food driven feast, all things wine, all things food, those are the things that we it do at the so Teatro Group. And together. I brought actually a couple of my favorites. And I will admit, um, you know, there's an inner wine nerd in me that's really excited <laughs> about these. So I can always Sasha Lachine that. makes Whispering Angel, and this is definitely one of the hallmarks of the rose program of the Teatro Group. And then TH Wines in Summerland. Actually, Tyler's a really good buddy of mine, and I was just through the Okanagan the other day and thought of the segment and picked this up. So oh, terrific. Light, bright, crisp flavors of both of these rosés with these bright, beautiful flavors of this uh, tartar. Just a little taste of what for you sure. can expect at Summer Feast. Matthew, thank you so much for being here. This oh, looks my delicious. Oh, my absolute pleasure, Leah. And we're just going to finish this off with a little dust of tarragon, and this tarragon's grown right on the patio of Teatro. Look at that. Beautiful yeah. and tasty so to boot. Simple. Matthew, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Thanks for having us. We're going to go for a break here on Breakfast Television. When we come back, we've got news, weather, and traffic. Stay